Hello everyone, in this video, we will be solving a question in this platform called Stata Scratch. So here in this platform, you can solve different SQL Python questions. And these are the questions that are asked in interviews by companies here. As you can see, it's Spotify, Amazon, Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft. So there are questions asked in different interviews. So we'll be solving each question in this platform. So I'll give you the uh, link of this platform in the description. You can go check it out. And this is not a sponsored video. I have used Stata Scratch when I was preparing for interviews and it helped me very much. So we'll just start solving questions on this platform. And if you're interested in the platform, you can go check it out. And it's totally fine if you can't afford for the subscription or if you're not interested in it, you can completely follow along the video. Just pause the video right after I explain the question. Take out a white paper or take a doc and start writing the SQL query. So this technique is called as white coding. So in a lot of interviews, they will not have a compiler for you to write the SQL query. They will tell you to write the query on a paper or on, on a doc. So this whiteboarding practice will come very handy in those places. So you can just practice like that. You can just stop the video while I end the question. Just start write the query and then play the video. See how we structure the query. Then compare with your query and see the output and also make an assumption and also find out if the output of your query will be same as the output as we have written. So that is very important. So you can just follow along the video and keep practicing SQL through this way, even without getting a subscription. Let's start with another easy question, which is asked in a meta interview. And let's read the question. Number of comments per user in 30 days before 2020 to 10. So let's read the question. Return the total number of comments received for each user in 30 or less days before 2020 to 10. They are given a date. Don't output users who haven't received any comment in the defined time period. Okay, so we should not output any user which has not received any comment also. So let's see the uh, table. So we have the FB comments count table. So if you can preview the table, we have user ID created at and number of comments. So we need to find out the total number of comments written by each user in the given dates and 30 days before the particular given date so let's write the query so we want select and we will get the and we'll also need to get the sum of total number of comments this is done by the user between those days so we'll put sum of number of comments so these are the two fields which we need and the next is we'll put a from statement from the table name is fb count okay so now we have to apply the condition here so the condition is the date in which it was commented should be between the given date and 30 days prior to that so in the where condition we'll put where created at which is the date of is between so 30 days prior to the given date so we use a date sub function here uh, i'll tell you what a date sub function does a date sub function subtracts the given number of days from the particular day which you have given so let's see this example so we need to subtract 30 days from this particular day and we want our date to be between 30 days prior and the date so we'll just add the date here and we'll just put a comma and we'll put the interval so interval is we need a 30 day prior to this given date so we are subtracting 30 days from this so we'll put interval 30 days so now our next date would be that particular date only so we also put that inside a quotation and yeah let's run the code so we'll just rename this as total comments So we add this date and now next we have to group by the user ID. So let's run the code. So we can see that we are grouped by the user ID. So, so the output is correct and we have run the code. We can see that we have got the desired output. So you can see user ID. And we can also see the total comments which you user has done and it is between the time frame that is 2020 to 10 and 30 days prior to that so let's solve the second question so this is a question asked in spotify interview so aggregate listening data is the title let's read the question you are tasked with analyzing a spotify like data set 
captures user listening habits. For each user, calculate the total listening time and count of unique songs they've listened to. The database duration values are displayed in seconds, round the total listening duration to the nearest whole minute. Okay. So the output should contain three columns that is user ID, total listen duration, and unique song count. So let's start writing the query. So we want user ID and then we want total listen duration. So let's preview the data set. You can see that the total listen duration, as I told it is in seconds, we need it in minute. So we'll do one thing, we'll just get the sum of listen duration. We are doing a sum because we want to aggregate all the listen duration time for a particular user. So we name it as total listen duration. But here the listen duration is in seconds. We need it in minute. So we divide by 60 and they have asked us to round it to the nearest minute. So we also use a round function here so that it is rounded to the nearest minute. So yeah got it so we got the total listen duration now next we have to calculate the unique song count so we need to calculate the unique song count so we have to calculate the distinct songs which each user have listened so we'll put a count keyword is used here and then we'll put that particular field which is song id so this will return the unique songs listened by one particular user so now we'll put now let's name the column also as unique song count. And it's from the table listening habits. So let's put the table name in some statement and we have to group by the user ID. Let's run the code. So let's check if it's correct. Yeah, so we got the output correct. Our solution is as expected. So this is how you solve this Spotify interview question. So we'll be solving more questions in the upcoming videos. I'll give the link of the platform in the description. You can check it out. You can get a subscription if you're interested to get. Thank you.